Hey everybody, welcome to this Friday's review, and today is a special day. Today is a really special day, because I'm doing my first Nintendo DS game review, and my first portable console game review in general. Like, seriously, this is the first one. I've only done GameCube game reviews, but this is my first one, and why not start it with the classic? That's still considered a classic. To this day, because it was the first one before it came out on the Nintendo Wii, almost like two, three, uh, yeah, I think two or three years later. This is new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS, and yes, it was new at the time. This was a huge game when this came out, because it was a, uh, reduction, reduction, um, it was like Mario Brothers for the new generation. Well, like Mario Brothers for the 2006 generation, which I was happily a part of. Uh, a little, some good memories there, here and there. But yeah, Mario Bros. for the new generation. And yes, this is like a re... It's like, it's like a new version of the classic Mario game that was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1983. And they redid it in 2006 just for the Nintendo G DS. Just for the Nintendo DS, but of course we all know about two, three years later, here comes Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then, currently we have Super Mario Bros. Wii U. And then, next, since it was the year of the new Luigi, we have new Super Luigi Brothers. That, that I never played those two games, Super Mario Bros. Wii U and Super Luigi U. Whatever, however you say it. But I played the I played this one that started the whole new Super Mario Bros. thing. And it is a good game. Uh, the levels are more colorful. Of course, you got the 3D graphics there that is a fan for any Mario lover. I mean, who doesn't love Mario in 3D? Uh, he he kind of looks better than these other 3D characters. To me, in my opinion, if you're talking about platformers, Mario is the way to go. Anyway, this has eight worlds with almost, oh my goodness, uh, 14, uh, yeah, I would say about, let's see, 14, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm just going to say 13 levels in each world. Um, if I'm wrong on that, which sometimes I am, just correct me, but eight worlds, 13 levels to explore, 13 challenging levels, but no, it's not like Donkey Kong Country challenge, challenging. It's far from that. <laughs> it's medium challenging, and they give you plenty of lives so you can get through all the levels. Each level, once again, for let's say the first area. The first area is your standard old school Mario area, and uh, well, I call this uh, area the Island Zone. Um, some of the names have zones. I can't really think of all the, the names for the zones right now. But the first level, which Mario and Luigi are jumping around here, I call it Island Zone. Okay, you got uh, a whole bunch of island levels, and then in the midst of that, it's like it's like a um, how the DS format of it is like you're on your screen and you can run to the different levels, and during those you got little challenges that you can complete, and you can get like a big gold coin, and those gold coins you can save up, and also uh. There's a mid-level boss and a big-level boss. So, um, it, once you get to, like, the middle of the, the uh, world, you got this little boss. And that's where you battle Little Bowser Jr. Little Bowser Jr. has taken Peach and, you know, wants to destroy her, blah, 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 and Mario has to rescue the princess. It's your standard Mario story. Like, seriously. And uh, so you have to battle him. And the first couple of battles, they're easy. I mean, come on, you can jump on them. And uh, it, to make it really easy on you, get a fire flower in those levels. I mean, just all you got to do is do, 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 do. He's dead. But uh, if you don't have a flower, fire flower, all you have to do is jump on him. And it'll, he only takes a couple of jumps. But then you got the final world boss. And that is at the end of the level. And that has a, uh, it's a big castle. And you go in the castle like a... Like, for example, in Mario Brothers with uh, Final Level Castle, it's dark and stuff, and Bowser's in there. I think it's for, like, the first level Bowser's in there. So you battle Bowser, 
Once you beat him up, then you go on to the next world, world, world two. And uh, there's a whole, there's a lot of different variety of worlds. You have like a, a, a desert world. You have like a, like a beach world where you swim underwater. That's a cool one. You have an ice world where it's like it's snowing and it's like an icy winter themed world. And uh, you also have this one world that is kind of like a Halloween style, I call it. And I have a feeling uh, it's it's the eighth world. I have a feeling it's the last uh, world in the whole game where you have to battle Bowser for good. To be honest with you, after all these years, I really haven't got gotten to that part yet. Because, I mean, the game the game itself, it, it, it's a mix of fun and challenging. Once you get into the later levels, that's when it starts getting hard on you. It does start getting hard. Even the mid-level bosses. I, I can barely beat the mid-level boss by World 7 or World 8. They do get pretty challenging, but hey, they're beatable. And, uh, yeah, they give you plenty enough lives. So you can go, for example, there's shops. Shops located throughout the level. And uh, you can buy, I think you use your coins to buy those. Not really for sure. Once again, this game, I had it since I was about 7 or 8. So, uh, you can go in there and you can get, like, a mushroom. You can get fire flowers. And you can get lives. I would recommend getting lives because the more lives, the better. And they go really fast. Like, any Mario game, your lives go really fast if you make the wrong move. But, uh... There's only one power-up that this game highlighted, mainly in the promotion, and, and that's the giant Mario. And that's a giant mushroom, and Mario turns twice his size, three times as his size, and you can stomp on everything, stomp on all the uh, boxes and things. And then at the end, if you stomp on all of them, you get extra lives. So a whole bunch of green mushrooms will come out, and you can grab all of those and get healed up for the next adventure, which is very helpful. But you like the one of the cons on this game. You cannot use the uh, the big Mario on any boss levels because obviously, like that's cheating. <laughs> like we can easily kick little Bowser Jr.'s butt if we're big Mario, right? So you can't use it there, or you can't use it in uh, it's like useless in places where you have to uh, let's see, um, jump and then like swing and stuff like that is useless. And then you have to crouch and all that. You can't use it there. It's just useless. But in normal levels where you got plenty of open space, you can stomp around and stomp on enemies and stuff. And it's pretty cool. There is another feature on here, and that is called mini games. And uh, the mini game feature is where you can either play multiplayer or one player. But uh, here's the thing about the multi games. I think the multi games are just thrown in here. I don't really think they were necessary, to be honest with you. They're good. I mean, they're they're kind of lame. You got one of them, like, where Mario's jumping, and you have to tap the screen, and he, that makes him jump, and he has to hit those enemies. It's like a flying game. And then you got another one with Mario bouncing on trampolines, and you uh, use your stylus, DS stylus, to create the trampolines that Mario bounces on so he can bounce uh, bounce around without falling. And uh, it's fun for a little bit, but once you, like, play them for a while, it's like, okay, this is kind of boring. So, I think the multiplayer was just, you know, thrown in there, something extra you can do when you beat the whole game. But uh, that's just my opinion. It's just something extra thrown in. And finally, you got Luigi. Now, uh, I did not know how to unlock Luigi when I first played this game. The first couple of times I played this game, I'm like, how the heck do you unlock him? And, uh, no, it's not just in multiplayer. You can play Luigi, of course, everybody knows, in single player, too, just by holding down the left and right trigger buttons on your Nintendo DS on the start menu. You have to hold it while you're selecting the file. You have to do a, hold it while you're doing all of that. And then you'll hear Luigi say, here we go. And then all of a sudden, Luigi's on the screen instead of standard Mario, who's on the screen. And you can play Luigi through the whole game, if you would like. Or you can play Mario through the whole game. It's up to you. But anyway, this is a great, great, great game. Before all these other games came out with it. New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. Released by Nintendo in 2006. Can you believe that? Wow. Anyway, 
this has been my review of it. Thanks for watching. And here I go to get something to eat. <laughs>